there welcome back folks to my channel and um, thanks so much to all my current and my new subscribers it's lovely to have you here so today is day 10 of the gummy pan advent calendar and i have opened it already um, and it's a signpost today so I wasn't sure what I was going to do so I'm going to cut it out and then I'll pop back in a minute so I've cut it out and I'm going to colour it in I've got a few other bits and pieces I've got my gold and silver gel pens I've got a gum the gummy pan Christmas tree trees even and I've cut myself a card base which measures five and a half squared. I've got this sort of snowy background. It's got a bit of silver in it as well, which measures four and three quarters squared. And then I've got this piece here, which I'm going to do the design on to, which is three and three quarters squared. So we'll pop them to the side just now. And I'm just going to do... I'm going to colour this in and I'm going to double it up, pop it on the front, stamp some of the trees in silver, I think. I might use a different colour, I'm not sure. And use some of these gel pens for some added things to go on and I'll add a sentiment. So I'm just going to get my old hoo hoo pens again. And I'm going to try and see what colour I could do this in. So I've got, oh, I've got walnut, which I've got a scrap piece of paper here. Let me see where I can just show you the colour. I have got a swatch, but so that's quite dark, that one. Let's see what else we have got. This is quite dark. This is burnt sienna. Yeah, that's very dark. I don't think I want it as dark as that. I've got terracotta, which is more of a lighter. So maybe those two. Um, I could do it in grey as well, but I really don't think I'll do it in Greek what's this one like so that one and that one might actually be better let's do those two so I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to just colour them in the paper they were die the card they were die cut from um, because it's easier for me to do that Okay, just pop that up so that you can see. So we're going to go with a darker, slightly darker colour first. And I'm just going to use the fine tip end and I'm just going to go in these little bits of embossed areas. Which are already in there for us. And... And then I am going to find, I'm going to do underneath here and down one side of that whole piece. And then I'm going to do underneath here, underneath there and a little bit. Oh, moved. A bit there as well. So, and then I'm going to colour it in with this lighter one. I'm just going to use the larger end just to colour it in. Oh, it doesn't matter so much. It's the... And that, all that darker colour should just blend in with this lighter one here. 
like that. And we don't need to do the other one because I'm going to be putting these on top of each other. So that's that done. And then we can take this one out and we can pop that on top. And that just gives it a wee bit more strength. So we can get rid of that now. So I'll bring my card base in. Um, and I'm going to just on that side no I'm going to just glue this together just get rid of that bit of glue on the top of there or it won't come out so, but this is going to be where am I in a snow snow snowstorm which we in the snowstorm type thing Onto there, and that have a nice border around it. And then this piece here. Now I need to think about when I'm going to do the trees first, actually. So before I do stick it down, I'm going to pop that kind of there. I wonder if we need this. Maybe I could just pop it onto there and do some trees. Let me try that. We maybe don't need this bit here because it does look like a snowstorm. <laughs> and then I can just add some um, words. One. So this is where we need to stick onto our kind of biggish block. So we need to stick on with our Pript or our similar to Pript stick glue because these are unmounted. You can buy a thing called U-mount but I haven't seen it for a while but I used to do that when I had um, stamps that weren't mounted you can mount it onto this foam called U-mount and that actually worked as well so that was quite good so I think I will go with this I'm thinking I'll go with black or this twilight colour what other colours I've got so let's try this one and see it's a bluey colour but just try it and see. So I want it to kind of come off like that. Mm, that's quite nice. If I put that kind of there, I could cut it a bit. Um, I'm wondering if I should do a couple more. I wonder if there's enough ink on this just to stamp in between. Probably not. Just let's see. You never know. Mm, not so much. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. Just leave as that. I might just do it over it again <laughs> if I can get it in the right place. Just let's see. If I mess it up, I'll just start again, won't I? <laughs> Hopefully, that is going to be in the correct place. And we don't have any haloing. There's a wee bit of haloing there, but it's okay. Not too bad. Um, and I might just do one more at this side. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this side. Oh, I don't think that worked because that wasn't even the right thing. What am I doing? What 
what am I doing? Oh dear. Right, let's just get this piece of paper under here. Actually, I didn't want it there, I wanted it just here so we don't go on to that bit of card. And then I can just pop it down like that. There we go, that's okay, I think. Oh, it wasn't anything too. And then what I will do, just to give this a little bit of grounding onto that, I just want to do a wee bit of this as well because then it won't look so like it's just somewhere in the vicinity. So, I've got a brush, not a brush, a dauber, dauber thing, and I'll just do a tiny amount of this on. don't want to put too much on, so let's just do a wee bit of a hill here. Mm -hmm. but just there as well and I've gone off onto the card but it really doesn't matter I don't suppose I didn't mean to but I'll just make it look like I did mean to <laughs> so. just put a bit over here though because I don't want really want anything there. Doesn't matter so much about there. And then I'll just do the same here as well and then that'll make it look a bit more like it was meant to be there, you know. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And then I'm just going to pop this on now. So I'm thinking, do I cut a bit? Let's see, let's just chop a bit off. That doesn't look like it's so. And I think I need to put a wee bit off a grounding bit there as well. Looks like it's not just standing there. So let's just put a tiny bit of glue on there. Maybe go up here. Like that. Oh, I've still to stick it on, haven't I? <laughs> I forgot I was to stick it on. Let's stick that on and then I'll chop the bottom off. Make it the same. There we go. Chop that bit off. Over there and then just stick that on. Like that. There's the dauber. Just make it look a bit more authentic. It still looks a bit like it's in the middle of somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Fine, and then I'm just going to add some gold to this wee bit of embossing down there. Just on these wee bits. Oh, 
and oh, there's a wee bit there. Um, maybe I could add. I don't have anything I could really add to it, so let's just put in which we. <laughs> bit daft probably but I can't think of anything else to do so I think I'm going to put that on there and that will be the card for te D10 I don't think I'll put it there I mean I could no I'm just going to do it here Which we should I go There we go. At least that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> okay. And I'll put that bit down the bottom. Oh dear. There we go, and that's D10's card. So, hope you liked it. Hope you think it's quite funny, because I think it's quite funny. And um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with day 11. Bye for now.